All right, so why am I doing an MD MBA? So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Prerak Juthani. I am a current third year, almost starting my fourth year, a student at the Yale School of Medicine. I will be doing my MD from the Yale School of Medicine, but I'm also doing an MBA from the Yale School of Management. So I'm doing a combined dual degree MD MBA, and that way I'll be graduating in five years, so 2022. Uh, so to kind of discuss why I'm doing this, I think it's important first to define what is an MD and what is an MBA. An MD is kind of the thing that most people know, which is is a doctor of medicine. You learn how to practice medicine. What does that mean? Well, you learn pretty much all the hardcore sciences. You learn the physiology of the entire body, every organ system, and pretty much every possible disease known to man. You learn anatomy, where everything is. You learn clinical skills, which is knowing how to take care of patients, knowing how to do physical exam maneuvers, knowing how to talk to patients appropriately and figure out what's going on. Uh, use deductive reasoning to kind of be like, okay, I have shortness of breath. How can I address shortness of breath? and then ultimately use that to reach a diagnosis. Um, you also learn some you know, soft skills such as empathy. You learn about how to make sure you can relate to patients and make sure you know that um, you know, you're there for them and not there for yourself. Uh, but in general, medical school is just a lot more of hardcore basic science and how to take care of patients. When you're an MD, you are on the front lines responding to you know, whatever it is that comes into the hospital because you are a provider. On the other hand, what is an NBA? An MBA is a Master of Business Administration. And this actually blew my mind because it took me so long to realize this. And so maybe I'm just stupid and maybe all of you know this, but everything in our world is a business, right? Everything. And I'm going to get into this in the next slide. But basically, because everything is a business, including hospitals, an MBA gives you a skill set to understand the business. You know, it, it'll teach you the basics of running a business. What's a business model? What's revenue streams? What are profit margins? All of those things, which to me are still like crazy things that I don't know about. It'll teach you about finances, accounting, uh, business proposals. The personal aspect of uh, the MBA that I'm really interested in, it also teaches you potentially about entrepreneurship. How do you take an idea that you have? Um, innovate and then bring it to market and, and that too do it at a scale that you can potentially impact huge change right so an MBA is the skill set of businesses and believe it or not businesses run our world that brings me to this point at the end of the day even the hospital the hospital which we think about as a sanctuary of you know right and wrong which we think about something that you know should never come down to money the hospital believe it or not is still a business right a hospital will not stay open if it does not produce money because you need money to pay doctors, right? And so let me just break it down because a hospital, though may, most people never think about it, still has a revenue, which means all the money that's coming in. And that's usually from insurance companies and governments that are you know, sponsoring or being the people who pay for someone's health care, right? Because if you were to go into the hospital, most people not everyone, unfortunately, has insurance, and that insurance company pays the hospital. That makes up the hospital's revenue stream. But the hospital then uses that money to pay doctors, to pay nurses, to pay the hospital staff, to pay so for so many things in the hospital, including the imaging, CT scans, radiology, all of those things. So revenue is all the money coming in. Cost is all the money going out, right? And all of those things need to end up being net positive. You still need to make a profit if you want this hospital to keep its doors open. Because if you don't, let's say you're this altruistic hospital that doesn't charge anyone anything. First of all, no doctor is going to want to work there because the doctors can't get paid. No healthcare professional will want to work there because you can't get paid, right? So at the end of the day, you still need to make money. Um, and so that's why a hospital is still a business. And so at the end of the day, you do still need to understand how the hospital works to ultimately make sure you have a successful hospital that can see more patients because the more profit that you have, the more you have the ability to see increased number of patients and ultimately make your hospital bigger and have more of an impact. The most successful hospitals to date, like the Mayo Clinic, um, even like Yale New Haven Hospital, they make sure that they can always have money, right? They can always have some profit and they don't use that for themselves, but they use it to expand their services. They use it to ultimately increase and reach out to more patients and provide better care, which you do need to do in the long term. Now if we go to the next slide, you'll see that I kind of just broke it down to that second slide you saw and I said what is an MD, what is an MBA? The MBA sets up the hospital infrastructure. You need people who have MBAs to set up what the hospital is going to look like and how it's going to provide money, make money, and ultimately pay people. Uh, and you also need MDs to staff the hospital, right? So well, the way I always think about it is the MBA is kind of what allows you to have a hospital infrastructure. It's what allows you to be like, okay, here are our revenue streams, here are our costs, here's how we're going to make a profit. On the other hand, the MDs or the healthcare professionals, nurses, anyone in the hospital, they provide the infrastructure. They provide the pillars of the 
building because they're the ones that are actually going to be providing those services. Both of those things need each other to exist. You can't have a hospital uh, infrastructure without people providing care, but you also can't have people providing care if there's no infrastructure that's creating a revenue stream and a profit margin. But the funny part is neither of these sides usually talk to each other because believe it or not, an MD doesn't know as much about what an MBA does, right? They don't know as much about profit streams, uh, revenue streams, generating all those things. And an MBA doesn't know as much about a doctor, right? An MBA doesn't know like, oh my God, this doctor is seeing this many patients. This is how they do rounds. This is how many tests they have to order. This is why they have to order those tests. There's very little crosstalk between these two domains. And for much of uh, you know modern medicine, it's kind of been like that where very little crosstalk happens. Um, so MDs and MBAs usually work together, but often without knowing much about the other side. And that was actually one of the reasons why I wanted to do an MD MBA, because I wanted to have both of these sides. And also I'll get to that in the future, but I want to mention this again. MD works one on one. MD works to one to one patient. On the other hand, the, someone who's a hospital administrator is looking at the big picture. How many total patients did we see this month? And were those patients seen well? Were we able to generate enough money to make sure we can sustain this project, this hospital for another decade? If so, great, right? But on the other hand, the MD never has that picture because the doctors are usually working one-on-one -on -one with the patient. They don't care as much about the money. They want to make sure the patient gets taken care of. But the MBA wants to also make sure like, okay, great, we're seeing these patients we're providing great care, but is this care affordable? Because if it's not, we're going to tank and this hospital won't exist tomorrow and we won't be able to provide care. So they're both essential, right? And so with all that being said, the reason why I want to do the MBA is because I think it will open up a lot of avenues that I personally am very, very, very interested in, right? So for example, by knowing the, the infrastructure and by also knowing what it means and it takes to take care of patients one-on-one, -on -one, I can be like, okay, I understand the entire framework and I also know how these patients are taken care of. So how can we optimize this one-on-one -on -one patient encounter in such a way that we also optimize for the large term um, growth of this hospital? And that's something that can be awesome. Like I think that could be really synergistic. Like for example, you may know as a doctor, like, oh, almost every patient ends up getting like a CBC and a BMP. And then from the MBA perspective, you may also know like, oh, CBCs and BMPs are this much money, but we can maybe save money if we kind of combine those two and do this, this, and this, right? By having both of those perspective in my head, I feel like it would really open up a lot more possibilities for hospital innovation. And the good part is when you innovate at the hospital level, you're impacting a lot more patients as opposed to innovating as an MD it means you're getting smarter, you're learning more, you're able to take care of more patients, but you might be able to impact maybe, you know, a couple hundred more patients. But if you're able to implement policies on a large scale hospital idea, you'll be able to impact significantly more people. So the job opportunities that I'm personally looking into with a MD MBA, and I'm not sure yet, are uh, still here. So healthcare administration, uh, the people who run the hospital, I would love to potentially look into avenues of that, like what kind of jobs exist there and how can we ultimately um, move myself to get there? Because as I said, by having a job like that, the changes you can implement at a large scale hospital will impact significantly more patients than if I were just working with patients one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, the other thing that I have an interest in is potentially running my own clinic. And that takes a lot of business mindset, right? So think about it. You may know medicine, but if you want to have your own personal health clinic where you see your own patients and this is your clinic, that requires a business mindset. And that's actually something I'm really interested in because I think I would be able to, if I had my own clinic, do things my way. I could innovate way more freely. And I love innovating. I love thinking about new ideas, love thinking about new ways to make sure patients get cared of effectively. And that kind of brings me to that, my third point. I love entrepreneurship. If you know me at all, I have always loved looking at a problem, being like, wow, we should solve that, and trying my best to solve that. Uh, and in healthcare, that's all the more fascinating because there's so many problems in healthcare. It works well right now, but there's so many places to innovate that I think having a business mindset and knowing what it takes to bring an idea from the idea stage all the way out to market, it's fascinating. And I think having a concrete understanding of that will really, really help me. And so to summarize, I think I'm doing the MD MBA primarily just to increase my impact as a physician. Because I think physicians do great work and they're amazing. And you see thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of patients over your career. But I think this MBA will, one, allow me to know that I can practice medicine, but maybe do it at a, at a scale that's much larger, right? If I implement a potential policy, I could impact more people. Um, or if I change one small thing about the hospital, it may seem small, but it saves so much money that we're able to see significantly more patients, right? Like all these small things that I'm like, wow, like an MBA would really enhance these things. And I've always seen my 
myself as someone who likes to be creative, who likes to solve problems and try to impact uh, and, and help as many people as possible. Um, and as I said, I want to have my own clinic potentially. I, I wanted to have, I have this idea in my head where I want to potentially be a cardiologist and see my own patients, but also have a gym membership on the side that's also integrated with my clinic where I can run and work out with my patients. So that's like a thing that has never happened before. And I feel like to make that happen, I would need to know what it takes to run a business and to run healthcare and kind of combine those two things. And that's kind of what the MD MBA does. And at the end of, at the, end of the day, by being able to do things, do something like that, I could bring an idea all the way from the idea stage to market. And that's something that I still have not learned in medical school, and I don't think I will learn in medical school. But I think I can learn that from an MBA. So those are my main reasons for doing the MBA in terms of concrete skills. Of course, I'm doing the MBA to get a network as well, to meet people who will be able to help me in my journey. But in terms of concrete skills, that's why I'm doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're going to do an MBA or an MD, and you will be heading out to Yale, let me know, and we'll hang out. Uh, but other than that, thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. <laughs>